Marine. I've received a report that you haven't reached Bravo team yet. You need to pick up the pace. I can't wait for you. Reaching the communication facility quickly is imperative. UAC takes pride in its safety record. Please follow UAC procedures. Log for Kyle Berger, research supervisor for the EPD project. Uh, the, uh, the elemental phase deconstructor is fully operational, and the research data we have gathered so far is very impressive. Unfortunately, we had a terrible accident last week. Research assistant Patterson is calibrating one of the quark emitters in the chamber, and witnesses say he appeared to see something, it's almost like uh, something was talking to him and uh, he backed right into the particle beam. It was not a pretty sight, as it took off the backside of his head. He lived a few minutes, although I'm not sure you could consider that living, but they say his eyes rolled back and forth, and he was trying to talk, although 
After losing that much brain matter, I'm sure it was just reflex actions. Anyway, due to this, I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab, and we have stocked one of the storage cabinets with emergency medical supplies. The code for the cabinet is 752. End of life. PD laser active. Audio log for Jack Smith, a benefits analyst in HR 1024-2145. I just went through another batch of accident reports from the science team. We 
We've had five more people hurt this week while working with the equipment. The most serious incident was one John Hughes, whose hand was caught in one of the plastic extrusion systems. He was performing maintenance on it and states that he unplugged it and had the safety key in his pocket. It managed to activate without an apparent power source and uh, shred the arm. Gas leak stopped. The elbow Fire extinguished. <laughs> it's been reported that the uh, machine is still running and we can't shut it down. The cost on that incident alone is enough to raise the red flag, but this is just one in a pile. Uh, we're going to overrun our budget on benefits payout. And while it's not my department, I have to assume that the new equipment is going to be blown out as well because, uh, according to these reports, the equipment's breaking down on a daily basis. Please mark this for review at corporate end of log.
startled me. Man, I'm ever glad to see you. I thought I was all alone. It's been freaking spooky lately. The hydrogon's blown a few circuits and was unstable. Be careful of that gun. A stray bullet into the glass shields could blow the whole area. I'm gonna try and get this thing stabilized. I'll head to the science office when I have this under control. If I don't get the hydrogon operating within acceptable levels, it could blow. Stages. The Hydrocon will, in one dramatic move, forever end all shortages of water and fuel. By splitting iron oxide molecules. 